The year is 2018. I'm gonna be honest, this, uh, this previously thing is really weird when you're actually playing the game. Turning up dead with their eyes couched out. I, I thought you were, like, playing a joke on, <laughs> on the thread. Takayuki Yagami like, you were suddenly gonna cut to, like, Snatcher or something. <laughs> No, this is this is straight up how every chapter after past the first one begins. <laughs> like you'll you'll uh you'll come off of the save screen and then last time on judgment I was like, wait, I just did this. Honestly, that voiceover, if you made him like a little bit more gravelly, it's it's like the same voice from Snatcher. <laughs> uh, and don't get me wrong, I totally love that idea. That that would be pretty rad, actually. Yeah. Give me a snatcher twenty nineteen. Three bodies turned up in Kamrocho. Each of them missing both eyes. Would this Everyone be a Konami should... game or a Kojima Kojima's game, though? Recent. And the guy who killed them all was your mole. I say it's a Konami game in conjunction and delivered to him by Hamura. With these guys. Hmm. But Hamura kept that hidden. Like they've already got like the dialogue stuff and the like turn making combat system. Fools. You could revamp a little bit. I'm not about to let him get away with this. Yeah, you know what? I would not mind seeing uh, all out if we RGG win. Studio do more licensed games. Hey, sucks. Don't hate, man. It's just gonna work in like gunplay a little bit more, I guess. And even then, not really. Role, anyways, he could have gotten that, that reminds me. I still need to finish Fist of the North Star. Hard to say with what we know now. <laughs> first things first. And I still want them to do a JoJo game. That's why we're here, remember? The but in any case, uh, found right in the we're, we're reopening the investigation into the mole. Happened back in August. Which, uh, a little tricky Mashima. considering the case has gone Kyori cold. Guy, 27. Cold like this season, huh? Lower rank than Kume. Huh? <laughs> Body got reported in the morning. <laughs> uh, at least there's one thing we know for sure. Skull. He wouldn't be able to survive in this habitat if he was a naked mole. <laughs> Where exactly did they find him? What sort of position was he in? Not sure. Cops don't really publish those kinds of details. Well, guess we'll have to do one better then. Yeah, steal the autopsy report. Hold up a sec. The cops already did their whole song and dance searching for the mole. But they couldn't turn up a damn thing. Why do you think we can do any better? I was really tempted to go with op option left. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, that easy, same. huh? If anyone's I didn't want to influence your past self. <laughs> who has better access to him than anyone else? We do, right? Guess you got a point. Do we really have we access to Hamura, access though? Info first, though. The quickest way to find. Uh, we bail them out, I guess. Work. Yeah, but he probably. I can do. He doesn't seem like the type who would be grateful for that. <laughs> but he probably hates us like a lot. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're right. Found an. <laughs> I guess we have to find somebody else. Shall we head over? I'm actually gonna head over alone if you don't mind. Think you can get in touch with that informant in the meantime? Huh? Why I obey? Didn't you say something about him selling police info? If he's got info on the mole, we need it. Yep, I can ask. Thanks. All right, bye. Time to go eat. I'm not sure I actually want to go eat, but hey, Kaito. Bye, Kaito. Let me just text Kaito. I miss you. <laughs> Where did I, you I, go? I will get the, uh, the combat speed up, uh, perk though, because that's actually pretty important. Not, not because it's a, a good or valuable skill, not that it isn't, but I just like being able to attack faster. Because coming off of, like, uh, say, Yakuza 0, combat in this game feels kind of sluggish. <laughs> like, it, it's not awfully slow but it's just a just enough that you can feel the difference right right but i think it's made up for by the fact that this game has a, a fun physics engine you can play around with it in combat so oh, i thought you were gonna say the kitties yeah hey speaking of hmm oh look a cat so yeah this is um 
Here's here's our friend event with a. Uh... Mr. Nekomiya. And this is where you shove your camera, your your phone in his face and go like, look at all the cat photos I got. <laughs> Ignore the dead bodies, please. Look at all the cat <laughs> photos I have. Uh, you know, that's actually really close to what his friend event uh, consists of. <laughs> look, look for me in the credits as a writer. <laughs> John P. Smith. The P is for a pseudonym. <laughs> I'm legit not sure if uh, we're going to make that joke here or in Yakuza 0 first. <laughs> <laughs> we shall find out. It's a race against time. So yeah, this guy, there's a lot of lost cats in Kamurocho, and this guy takes care of them. Mm -hmm. and, but he's lost track of a couple of them, so it's on us to try to find them. Damn. <laughs> he, uh, he runs a blog about running... Or, uh, these stray cats. So, do you think in this game, there's this, like, um... Because you said it's, like, a huge group, right? So, do you think maybe there's a book out there that's <gasps> devoted to groups like this that dedicate their lives to saving animals? But, like, fictional. Oh, ab absolutely. But, like, all fictional. <laughs> like the music <laughs> group thing I was gonna buy. Oh, hmm, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. I can't wait to see the <laughs> um, Outer Heaven listed as one. <laughs> <laughs> huh? So, yeah, Yagami's not too enthused about these cats because uh, he's not a fan of cat poop, but... Oh, I thought you were going to say he's a dog person himself. I mean, that 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 would be me, but, you know... Yeah, same. Like a good cat, though. Yeah, cats are fine. I just, I'm, I'm more a fan of dogs. Yeah. I mean, if you like living with an asshole, cats are fine. Yeah, <laughs> I cannot disagree with that. <laughs> Man, all right, we're gonna get so many downvotes on this video. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not my channel. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Excuse me while I go soap my mouth. Caligo, got it. Round drum. Well, it's probably around 64 rounds. <laughs> oh, wait, the cat, right. <laughs> All right. So let's go uh, cat hunting. <laughs> Please. Yes. Cat rounding up. Cat locating. Cat finding? We, yeah, we don't hunt cats here. This isn't China, after all. <laughs> okay, so th the first cat is not super far away. It's like in this alleyway behind the uh, Yagami's detective agency. So all you really gotta do is just take a picture of it. Man, look at its eyes, devoid of all color. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't keep staring at it. <laughs> We did it! Yay! It's almost like if we put like GPS chips into each of these strays, <laughs> we might have an easier time. Yeah, but those cost money. Huh? <laughs> Look, if they're willing to feed them, <laughs> what's the next step, really? Okay, so the next one can be found uh, around the Little Asia area. It seems so weird. I mean, like, as a North American, he's like, oh, yeah, there's a little Italy and, like, you know, little Chinatown, well, just Chinatown. But, you know, like, I don't expect an Asian place to have a little Asia. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think the name's a little weird, too. I would have just called it Chinatown because that's basically what this is, oh, a Chinatown. Right. Um... <laughs> They're trying also, to really, it's a political commentary on China's rise to power and how they really don't have claim to most of Asia as they portray <laughs> themselves. So, um, Little Asia here is uh, under construction because it burned down like a year or two before this game. I, I have probably mentioned that before in this LP. I don't think so, actually. I thought I did. Anyway, the cat is on the scaffolding somewhere. 
Oh, look, a cat. I'm glad that when you rise too high, the wind picks up. <laughs> yeah. There, there's a perk you can buy to, um, to make your drone a little more wind resistant. Don't ask me how that works in software. I think it's fucking magic. Well. <laughs> Look, uh, it knows better to calculate its motor rotation at higher speeds induced by the wind profile buffeting against its itself. Sure, we'll go with that. Thank you. Now that you have said uh, it, I sound canon. really smart right now. <laughs> <laughs> or really dumb. Okay, so this last cat is going to be on Pink Street. It's a bit of a ladies' man. Or ladies' lady? I don't know. It's a real pussy cat. <laughs> this cat is just at the very end of Pink Street. Just oh, with this lady. I don't. No, I'm just with the organization that takes care of it. We are many. <laughs> actually, we are all over. Actually, just cut the half, the, the rear half of what I said. I'm part of the organization. <laughs> oh no, they're out to get you. Yeah, I got a cat with a 1022 subject. <laughs> Gonna need a code three over. So, hey, this cat now has a home. Aww. One less cat on the streets. Hey, here's an idea. How about you, like, run a website or a blog that involves, like, these strays, and then whenever they get adopted, you just let their new owners, like upload photos to the Instagram slash blog slash whatever. Yeah, you could totally do that. Like show that they have they're, they're in a happy home. Yeah, I'm going to miss them. It's like I can upload photos if you want. Like <laughs> it's not a lot of data. But also this lady is a fan of uh, Nekomiya Sans. <gasps> really, this oh. is all a ruse. <laughs> She just really has the hots for him. <laughs> well, in any case, uh, I'm I'm glad we helped play matchmaker. Man, I wish it was that easy for me. Oh yeah, we can talk about cats. They're furry, have four legs, and come in different colored patterns. What else you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna you wanna I, do something I can't exciting? Imagine about? I can't imagine talking about how uh, cats are assholes would go over super well on a date. <laughs> All right, let me tell you about a cat's reproductive system. Oh, no. <laughs> We've run out of other things to converse about. Okay, so um, the, the next place we want to go to... Or, it's great for uh, claustrophobics. Yes, exactly. We're going to the crime scene now. It's uh, over in this little park. Well, not park. It's a back alley. I don't know why I call it a park. Oh my god, it's the... Well, I mean, look, let's be fair. We've seen parks in Yakuza, and they're basically just cement slabs with maybe a structure. And generally... You're not wrong. Have, and generally have toilets. These ones are just simply open air. <laughs> it's a new concept. You're not wrong. <laughs> See, look, there's the giant hammer for that hammer game that you can play. <laughs> at, the, at the carnival. Oh look, a cat. Oh, oh right. I, man, that blended in perfectly for me. <laughs> Suspicious. I was like above the little like weight model thing. Okay. So naturally, there's nothing left here in uh, this murder site to actually, you know, investigate. So we're just gonna look around a little more because there's a there's a bunch of things here to actually look at. Yeah, like that thing that says don't drop kick your garbage. What? <laughs> well, yeah, you could tear the bag. Uh, fair enough. 
I mean, I, I don't know about you, but sometimes my trash bags have torn on me just while carrying them. Suspicious. Yeah, I, I found a guy who doesn't use glad bags. <laughs> Shun. Look, man, we, we're, we're a handy family. <laughs> you poor, poor soul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thread. Opinions on garbage bags, please. <laughs> Which do you feel hold the best under this dress? <laughs> Stop right there! See, this is why having a uniform sucks. You always feel constricted. Nothing like the free float flowing a uh, form of skinny jeans and converses. Hell yeah. Oh, now these guys go over the railing. <laughs> Losers. Oh no, milk they crates! <laughs> milk crates, ah, and they just all stumble over. Uh, excuse me, I think you'll find that those are beer crates. Ah, oh, damn. I bet they all died though because this, the chase suddenly ended. Hey, what's up? What? Get back here! Hold it! Stop! Wait, wrong guy! Okay, let's go. I'm on a pay card, you asshole! <laughs> Stop running my minutes! He probably is. So yeah, another chase sequence. Over here. There really isn't a whole lot to say about um, that we haven't sent the first one. Yeah. But hey, got I got it. a, a Comro Joe or Comro Go Chivo. Nice. I, I actually didn't realize you could get them from chase sequences. Look, take him where you can get him. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying uh, I'm not appreciative of it. All right. If you edit, if you everybody, please stop the footage. Go back like seven seconds. You'll notice that Yagami's foot was clearly planted in front of one of those stoppers for cars. He would have tripped. The game is kind of lenient about uh this kind of thing. If you can, if you have to like dodge people from six meters away, and like you touch a cone and you like suddenly flip it over, I demand consistency. <laughs> and now we got to chase in the claustrophobic tunnel. Nice. It's like deja vu. <laughs> Remember, folks, don't yeah. drop, take your garbage bag. <laughs> we gotta go through this playground. And we're done. This is an auto automatic sequence, and there's nothing we can do about it. Man, I love this part in the Sonic games. <laughs> that would be way more impressive in a Sonic game, actually, yeah. <laughs> This ends. He's gonna do a, like a misty flip and then get hit by a rocket launcher. <laughs> Ave Maria starts playing. Man, that's gotta hurt. Bone back. Now, please. You're not getting any thanks for that. Here, you earned this back. You, I own it. Look, it wasn't a perfect plan. Yeah, come on. Money. You don't even have called display. You pay like 70 bucks a month. Is that what you call? What <laughs> stupid shit is this? And I don't want your thanks, asshole. <laughs> okay. See ya. <laughs> he steps on his phone and accidentally slips off. Uh, no, I still had three payments. <laughs> that would be pretty tragic. A Camarocho burglary ring. I'm I'm also really surprised his uh his knees are or ankles are bleeding. Well, it'd probably be a shin to be fair. Either or. <laughs> uh, 
Look, we all know, and this is what I've been saying for years, honestly. Our core is a gateway drug to thievery. This is why the U.S. is in such a terrible state it's in right now. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, if it wasn't for those damn... You see it everywhere. <laughs> in the former states of Yugoslavia, Germany, France. Crime is on the rise, and it's all because of parkour. Not parkour. No. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yagami couldn't even jump over that one hurdle. Well, we were just uh, distracted by this homeless condo guy. Where where was my triangle from? <laughs> I like how Yagami's got the face of a man who's like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I would rather do anything else. I can relate. Can, can I just like douse that fire, please? <laughs> okay, so we gotta go find uh, Dr. Moroboshi, and who is just up in the sewers in the north part of town. And uh, yeah, we can see that these planks just kind of fell, and thankfully didn't hurt anyone. You know, if there was like a good or evil like karma attached to this game. I bet the evil karma would have been to call an ambulance for the homeless guy and give him the like $60 bill for the ambulance. Oh no. Thank God, I enjoy your debt. Well, wallowing just, wallowing it, homelessness for another two decades. Well, it'd be the ambulance fee and whatever they charge him at the hospital. Yeah, true. Three okay, so decades. You, so yeah, you can just go down into the sewers. <laughs> As you do. Though these homeless people have a uh, have a uh, Twitter statuses that you can check on too, which I think is kind of funny. Nice. This is just like my Stalingrad game. Didn't even pass have to pass a four TC. Mm -hmm. Nobody's gonna get that. This is Yagami. <laughs> oh, I never noticed the echo on like the this is Yagami clip in here. Hmm. What we call good game design. What? <laughs> and he pulls out a gun <laughs> and goes <laughs> to kill himself. <laughs> no! 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 Oh God damn it! <laughs> There's a homeless guy whose stomach hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there are so many goofy options for this. One little tiny interaction. <laughs> but what does my nephew want with this new rap album? <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, you're calling for yourself. Yeah, a guy asked me to call for a doctor. You're a doctor. I'm calling for you. Uh, I, yeah. I didn't get his name. <laughs> He's just a homeless guy. Why would I care? But yeah, the answer is obviously Kondo's calling for you. See? Public Park 3. Right across from Public Park 4. Public Park 4 is really <laughs> shitty though. It has no real, like, sunlight. Usually filled with trash. There's a reason the swing set's on in Public Park 3. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that swing set's been there since the 80s, too. One. And it's got two vending machines. Wow! <laughs> <sighs> right next to, like, what I can only assume is a public water, uh, um... Yo, I'd hope that's not a private water fountain. <laughs> <laughs> only the homeless we use it. <laughs> 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 you must have the key. So yeah, uh, Kondo just kind of ate something funky out of the trash and uh, gave himself a stomach ache. Of course. Thankfully, uh, Doctor Moroboshi here knows his uh, knows his shit. Ah? Yo, let me 
And for our troubles, we now have we can now get medkits from him. I feel like that's a very big trope for Japan is to have like the doctor who worked pro bono. And it's always like it's well maybe not always, but it, you know, it's usually like, uh, I'm homeless now, but I live with my patients and I'm just a generally cool dude and I survive off donation. I feel like I've seen that a lot too, but Well, we saw it in one of the Yakuza games, right? So there is that as like a more fresh thing. No more. I guess you're yeah, I guess. Hey. But I also feel like I've seen it like two or three other Excuse times. Excuse me. Yeah. In any case, uh, there's still a little more to Moroboshi's friend event, so we're gonna go hang out with him for a little bit. And now he's telling us about how, uh, in the past he was a doctor at a big university and tried to get tenure, but that, that didn't work out. And now he's here, making an actual impact on people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kind of vomited all over myself. Oh no, Kondo vomited all over himself. <laughs> It looked more like Kondo exploded. <laughs> oh no. Considering like what that guy's... Hey, look at those suits. So he, he actually got into an accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, they usually call that for the same sort of thing for old people too. So uh, we... We, he, we need to get or find type O blood so we can save Kondo's life. Jesus Christ. This would literally merit the hospital thing. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, it would. Why, why are we doing this? Because they can't afford the hospital. <laughs> Look, I'm pretty sure for like homeless people, there's some agreement. I, I would hope there is, but... <laughs> I love... I know there's a thing in uh, Japanese culture specifically about blood types, but if you ever ask that in, in like North America or Europe, I bet anybody would be like, shit, what is my blood type? I mean, I would hope people know their blood type so they know if they can safely get a transfusion or not. Yeah, but like, usually I just let the doctors know that shit, like... They, they just do the test and like, oh, yeah, you're A positive. Like, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write that down nowhere because I have no way of remembering that. I don't know. I remember my blood type. It's. OP negative. So, yeah, that uh, that clean, <laughs> clears up the um, <laughs> okay, the, okay. the condo friend event. <laughs> Chaos, I have to ask. <laughs> is there like a specific reason you didn't say what your blood type was? <laughs> or is I'm, it? I'm, I'm bleeping it out. Oh, OK, <laughs> because I didn't hear it. So that was good <laughs> bleep technology. <laughs> I think I'm a positive. <laughs> Will somebody kill me in my sleep because of that? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but at least now you guys know. <laughs> Finger guns. You always hop. So, um, yeah, we can now buy medium and large sized medkits from, uh, Moroboshi. I have never found a, a use or need for the large sized ones. I just like how one medkit is more than everything you own right now. Uh, yeah, they're expensive. And you really don't need them. Don't get hit, folks. It, it'll help. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show that the other end of the uh, sewers has an entrance that leads out to uh, the hotel district. Man, it's not even the start of your move phase. 